Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another product review, this time on a Nikkor UMS4. Now I was sent this by Nikkor directly, they wanted me to test and review this product. Now this is a USB charger, now this is an intelligent charger, and it is a four slot now with one battery in it at one time can charge up to three amps and of course it's fully adjustable has a full parameter of uh, features that are on the LCD screen here's all the battery types that it will charge a lot of batteries kind of show you having one or more one to four cells the output maximum. Alright, let's go ahead and open this up and see what's in. Now my understanding this is Nikkor's first USB charger that is does come with a charging cable. Here's the user manual and one thing I like about Nikkor products is their manuals are always well-defined multi-language in this. We're going to go ahead and take out the charger. Of course you've got the Nikkor warranty card. So now let's just go ahead and go over. Sliders are very smooth not seeing any issues. One thing about Nikkor chargers are fully fire resistant. That's really beneficial when you're charging batteries and should it catch fire it's going to limit that from happening. A lot of venting here in this area so that's nice. nice large display on this really gonna help out with being able to read it so now let's go ahead and get this plugged in now I've got it plugged in here so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit And as you can see, there's the display. Four banks to be able to charge that. You've got your voltage. You can change the voltage of the battery you want, higher or lower. And this is to move from one slot to another. So I'm going to bring out some batteries here. I'm going to bring out two cells that they gave me. This is a 3500 milliamp, 18650, 8 amp protected cell. We're going to go ahead and get started here. Plug that one in here. And it's going to do its preliminary testing here. So you've got 3.5. Uh, I haven't charged this battery yet. So it's going to do its analysis of the battery to give you ohm resistance. And it shows ohms resistance 143 which is good anything over about 350 depending on the age now a lot of times the ohms resistance is going to be high as the cell is drained so you definitely want to check them again after the battery is fully charged to get a better idea on your resistance on the battery so you're going to do it at the beginning of your charging and at the end of your cycle now I'm going to bring out another battery here another 3500 milliamp this is a 7 amp cell protected so we're going to go ahead and do this one next and let it do its analysis okay so there's the initial reading is good my advice is to go ahead and check it again at the end 
and see the balance on where your ohms resistance is on your battery at the beginning of charging it and at the end kind of nice to give a good guideline uh, nothing is perfect so you definitely want to use between the two readings now I'm also going to bring out a 20700 cell which is quite a bit bigger these are one of my Sanyo cells this is an OEM so a lot of milliamps on this just to show you can run the bigger batteries in this charger as well you can run 21700 cells waiting for the results on the battery does this little analysis so 101 ohm resistance that's really good anything over 350 depending on the age of your cell um, you're definitely going to want to do some more tests on that to make sure that battery is is good to go and again this is not fully charged but it's really close so that's a pretty good number to go by so now I'm going to grab a 21700 cell and grab that here and this is an MXJO I had really good luck with these running it on my uh, Wubin Apollo light these are really good cells now this is also an unprotected cell and this is a 21700 cell so we're going to go ahead and put that in let's see what guideline it gives us here and then as you can see it's 4.2 so it's almost charged so it's still going to run a a test on the battery and let's see how it does so it's showing you the ohms resistance is at 120 so that's still well be beyond or below the 350 and that's remember it depends on how old your battery is and also remember the ohms resistance will change as your battery's charging and discharging so it's kind of good to have both numbers to use as a guideline so again you can go ahead and move to keep an eye on your status of your cells and I'm using a 3.0 output uh, which is 9 volts on the highest output the possibilities of it is so you can kind of see it's telling you your your milliamps that's charging that battery currently always let you know what your ohms resistance was and of course you can keep cycling through tells you what slot number you're on type of battery now if you were to run nickel metal hydride batteries in there then they would show you that different type as well showing you that what its voltage is going to be at, at when it's done is 4.2 so now we've got a full cell here on this final one I just put in because it's actually already charged so now we can do just a quick check of the ohms resistance. So now we'll show it again just to see what the ohms resistance changed at any. And it's right about the same. So that's good. Tells you that it hasn't changed much but there was already fully charged pretty much. So kind of nice to use that as a guideline only. and then we'll go to the next one here now I recommend using the default charging recommendation that the charger uses for your batteries now 18650's uh, recommended uh, charging rate is 500 milliamps to 1, one amp uh, you can charge them quicker it's just the cell is not going to last as long so if you need it in an emergency kick it in there put it at 2 amp your battery is going to be fully charged a lot quicker now as far as keeping the longevity of your batteries then I recommend using 500 milliamps to 1 amp charging rates which this will do with these Let's go through these one more time Uh, so as far as details, the screen is very nice. It's it's got a nice display on it. It's not too bright. Even if people that have glasses or whatever they can't see as well, the display on here is large enough to help out with that.
So as far as build quality on these night cores, they're really top notch. They simply make some of the best chargers that you can get. Now I like the fact that this one here runs the bigger cells. Um, I've had some older night core chargers, really old like the i4. Those 21700 cells are really tight and uh, some of them don't even fit. So it's nice to see that they are upgrading their line of chargers. It's also nice to see that they're making a USB charger so you can take it on the road a little more convenient especially if you have a charging uh, in your cigarette lighter. If you have a USB you can just plug this in there and you can charge your batteries on the go. Really nice convenient. Everything about this charger is really nice. I'm not seeing any issues. Now on the ohms resistance just check before and after at the beginning of your charging and at the end kind of give you an idea on where the ohms resistance is. You're going to get different numbers so it's kind of good to do a couple of readings on there to give you kind of a baseline and kind of pick, to ch pick and choose which one is in the middle on that and that'll help you decide whether you want to get rid of it or not. Uh, by age once they get to be about three years old, three to five years old, um, it my recommendation to just go ahead and uh, recycle it at that time. So we're going to zoom back out of this. It looks really good. Again, really like the charger. Build quality is outstanding. These are 100% fireproof, which you can't say that about a lot of chargers on the market at this time. So I want to thank Nikor again for sending me this to review. Now if this is something you are interested in getting, they sell these at the NikorStore.com and I do have a special discount code and you can look up right up on that screen right about there. And that's going to help you save some money on this should you be interested in getting it. And also, be advised, my code works anywhere in the store. So if you want to buy something else at that time as well, you can use my code for anything in the store. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these type of chargers to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.